Today I'm going to show you how to create an emotional stroop test in the program PsychoPi on a Mac. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, the emotional stroop test is used as an information processing approach to assessing emotions. Like the standard stroop effect, the emotional stroop test works by examining the response time of the participant to name the color of words presented to them. In this test, we will use words related to specific emotional states, as well as neutral words and time participants' reaction times. For example, depressed participants are more likely to be slower to say the color of depressing words rather than non-depressing words. To get started, open the PsychoPy program to Builder View, and on the right-hand side of the screen, we're going to click Text. Here, the Text Properties box will pop up and we're going to change the name, start, and stop time. I'm going to name this target. I'm going to change the start time to 0.5 seconds so it doesn't start right away. And I'm going to change the stop time to 5. We're going to change a few things in here later, but for now we'll hit OK. Next, we want to click the keyboard icon on the right side of the screen. Here, the keyboard properties menu will pop up, and we're going to change the name, start, and stop time of this one as well. I'm going to change this to response. I'm going to also make this 0.5 seconds, and I want to make sure that there is nothing here so that there is no end time. We're also going to change things here later, um, but for now, we'll hit OK. Now um, you're going to want to open a new Excel page and create your file, which you'll upload into PsychoPy in the next step. I've already created mine just to save time in the video, but I will explain what I did here. So in the first row, under A, B, C, and D, I put my labels. So under A, I put word, B, color, C, congruent and D correct answer. The reason that I wrote it this way is because in Excel you can't use spaces to separate your word. So in column one under word, or in column A under word, I selected nine words, some depressing and some non-depressing. You can choose different words than I have. In the second column, B under color, I selected the color that I wanted each word to show in PsychoPy, and in column D, under correct answer, I have the direction of the arrow the participant should hit for each color. I have made it so that you would click right for the color red, left for blue, and down for yellow. In column 3, under congruent, or column C, you can select any variation of numbers 1 through 0. Since we're only measuring the reaction time, this column is not important for this specific test. So once you have entered all of your variables in Excel, click at the top File, click Save As. I name my file Emotional Stroop. Again, don't use spaces to separate your words. If you're using a Mac like I am, you have to change the file format down here to Macintosh, comma, separated. In parentheses, it'll say .csv. I'm going to click Save. Back in the PsychoPy program, on the lower half of the screen in the Flow section, click Insert Loop. Then you're going to click where you want the loop to start and stop. So I want it to start here and here. The Loop Properties menu will show up. And I'm going to check to make sure that the name is trials, the loop type is random, and that it's on to repeat five times. And down here is where you're going to upload your Excel file, the one that I've named emotionalstroop.csv. Click open, see it right here. Once you're done, click OK. Next, in the section that we named target earlier, you want to click that. And where it says color, you want to erase that and put a dollar sign on the word color. Again, no spaces. Then you want to change 
this drop down box to set every repeat. In the text box section here, we want to erase this and put a dollar sign and word. This is going to link Excel to PsychoPie. Um, here in the drop down box, we want to change this to set every repeat as well and click OK. Then in the section that we named response, I'm going to click that and we're going to change the allowed keys to match the arrows that we chose in Excel. So we want this to say left, right, and down. Then down here under store correct, I want to click that and under correct answer we want to link Excel here as well. So we're going to put dollar sign and write it the same way that you wrote it in Excel. So once you've done that, you want to click OK. Then back down in the flow section, you want to click insert routine, select new. And here I'm going to name this instructions. Click OK. And then we want to select where we want our instructions. So we want them before the loop so that they can read the instructions. Once you've done that, click Instructions, and the screen on the top of the page will change. On the right-hand side of the screen, click Text. And in Text Properties, I'm going to change the name to Text Instructions. Put this I capital so we can tell it's two words. Then I'm going to erase the stop time because I want it to continue for as long as they need to read the instructions. And in the text box on the bottom, this is where you're going to write your instructions. So here I'm going to put that the right arrow equals the color red, the left arrow equals blue, the down arrow equals yellow. And I'm going to click OK. Next, click the keyboard on the right side of the screen. Here you're going to want to erase all the allowed keys. And in the drop down box under store, we're going to change that to nothing and then click OK. Now the, there's a green icon at the top with a small running person in it. I click this and then we're going to save our file. Once you've saved it, it'll take a few moments to start. Then for participant, click whatever number you'd like. I'm going to select the number one since it's the first time that I'll be running this test. Then click the OK button and that should start your test. Once the instructions pop up, when you're finished reading them, click any key to continue. And there you have your test. I hope this video was helpful for you.